Pain is unavoidable in life. Whatever you want to achieve, you cannot name me one genuinely worth it thing that can be achieved without sacrificing some comfort. You can't get something worthwhile without having to go through some type of pain. You know what I'm saying? Even like avoiding pain is painful because you don't gain anything when you're running away from suffering and shit. It's like, okay, so when you go to the gym, you're experiencing the pain of like the muscle burn and like maybe some joint pain. Um, You're also experiencing the pain oh man, I've, I'm spending two hours a day on this shit. I'm spending an hour a day on this shit. I could be going home, watching a movie, you know what I'm saying? I could be playing the video games. I'm out here in the gym. And that's painful. Like, that isn't pleasurable. But after the workout, and after the first couple months of consistent weightlifting, you see the progress made. So that's the pleasure right there. The reason why people put the pain into the gym is so that they could get the play pleasure later on, like the benefits of the gym. They could see the progress they've made. So that's called delaying pain. Or no, delaying pleasure. Delayed gratification. That's all the good shit in your life. The main example is like the gym. Another example could be business, for example. You know what I'm saying? You put five years, ten years into something you want to start up, every amount of dollar you put back into the business, you put into your health, that's going to come out multi-millions of dollars more rich than you have invested. But you had to go through the pain first. You know what I'm saying? You can't buy all these fancy clothes because when you buy fancy clothes, you're not putting the money into yourself or your company. You're putting it into another company. You're putting it into Nike. You're putting it into Adidas. You know what I'm saying? You have to go through pain to get something worthwhile. And avoiding pain is painful in itself. I need you to understand that. Now, how much pain have you gone through in the past week, in the past month? What was like the most painful, not physically, but like mentally challenging? Like, holy shit, I have to do that today? Oh my God, I just did that. When was the last time you had felt that way? Probably like your last gym session or the last time you took a cold shower or something. Something actually fucking hard you don't want to do. You do it either way. You get the pleasure from it. The more discomfort you feel now, the more pleasure you will feel later. But most people don't want to do that. Most people want the pleasure now. The video games, the junk food. You could easily access that. Easily get the pleasure. But after that initial pleasure is gone, you're only left with nothing but pain. The same, the opposite is with the gym. You put in the work, it fucking hurts, it fucking burns, it's cold, maybe it's too hot, but after you feel pleasurable because, oh my God, I just fucking hit that today, you feel like the fucking man, you're filled with fucking dopamine because motivation, because you just went through pain first. You get to choose, guys. Every day you could choose what pain you endure. And remember, pain is unavoidable. If you avoid pain all day, maybe that's probably like sitting in bed all day. Sitting in bed all day is mainly the number one thing of avoiding pain. But you're going to feel like, oh, fuck, I just spent all day in my bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't avoid this shit. You could put your pain into something that will either benefit you in the future or something that will hurt you in the future. Is playing video games all day for six months straight going to improve you? No. Is going in the gym every day for six months straight going to improve you? Yes. This is your choice. I talk more about how the undeserved pleasures in your life, video games, junk food, the hub, these destroy you. These lead you on the track to that average Western lifestyle, the nine to five, the alcohol, the uh, the sexlessness, undeserved pleasure, instant gratification is pleasure now, pain later. And let me tell you, the pain you experience after you have indulged in these activities, the pain is worse than the pain of going through the gym, of putting the money into the business. Because that pain, that initial pain, that 
eventual leaf to pleasure, that pain isn't as bad as the pain of, oh, fuck, I spent four hours a day on Valorant. You know what I'm saying? That pain, the Valorant, the video game, the junk food pain, that shit is worse than the pain you put into the gym. Trust me. I've been living like the loser type of lift lifestyle for the longest I could fucking remember. And to be 100% honest, I didn't really experience the negative side effects of the junk food and the video games because I just enjoyed it too much. I didn't really know, like I wasn't self-aware. I didn't know this shit was actually bad for you. So I didn't feel guilt afterwards. Now I do. And once you start feeling guilty for the things you do in your day, like the realization in your bed, oh, I didn't do nothing today. I wasn't productive. I still got homework to do. That pain is a actual problem. Put your time into something that'll give you pain now for pleasure later. That is where happiness comes from. That's also where self-love comes from. You right now didn't desert you right now didn't get the muscle. Your past self three months ago, six months ago, two years ago, got the muscle for you. You didn't get it. Your present self didn't get it, but the past self, your younger version of yourself, got it for you. And that creates self-love. This instant gratification, the junk food only leads to pain later and that pain is worse you notice how people who go to the gym every day do you notice how people who make the money all the time do you notice the people that don't spend shit on like cars and clothes and instead put it into their health and to their business the people who get pain now for pleasure later they are actually happier actually actually happier than the people who play video games that's kind of obvious right you have to go through discomfort in your life. Purposely put yourself into discomfort so that you can be happier, so that you can go through that delayed gratification and feel the pleasure later, so that you can achieve self-love. That's why people talk about taking cold showers. It's pain now. Fuck, this is cold. As <gasps> You're fucking hyperventilating in the shit, bro. But after, like, fuck, yeah, I'm the man. That shit dopamine fucking rush. That is the fuck. That's like delayed gratification in a nutshell pain now pleasure later instead of taking the cold shower you load up incognito mode okay it feels good for a few minutes after you're only left with nothing but the guilt you must go through discomfort in order to progress in anything in life in business in woman you must go through that first a hundred rejections before you get used to getting rejected and then you could boom 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 number 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 fuck fuck laid laid all of this delayed gratification comes from getting uncomfortable purposely putting yourself into uncomfortable situations even when you don't feel like it it's cold it's winter time taking a cold shower feels like a fucking bitch you do it after it's like Dopamine on top of dopamine. You feel fucking amazing. I'm the fucking man. I just did that. No one's out here doing this shit. No one's out here putting themselves into uncomfortable situations. Everyone is out here pleasuring themselves. Undeserved pleasure. I talked about that in the latest video. Undeserved pleasure is what everyone is on. They're on the games. They're on the incognito. They're all on the junk food. Everyone's fat nowadays. Everyone has eight hours screen time on fucking social media. I'm different. You're different. You can choose to be different right fucking now. Switch it up. Get into delayed gratification. <laughs> get through the pain now so that you get the pleasure later. Take the cold showers. You're not taking the cold showers for like the benefits. You're doing it because you don't want to do it. Once you do things often that you don't want to do you get better at doing things you don't want to do or how do i phrase this when you don't want to take that cold shower you do it either way it gets easier to take the next cold shower and the next once you do hard like actual hard fucking work in the gym you're actually pushing yourself it gets easier so like if you're struggling with being productive getting on top of your homework um 
focusing in your studies, whether you're wh- whatever you want to research. If you're struggling with the hub or your addictions, and you purposely put yourself into uncomfortable situations like cold showers, like the gym, and you actually go hard, this hard shit isn't, it makes this small shit seem easier. Does that make sense? Once you go through some actual hard fucking work, it's up here. And that makes the itty bitty small little problems you have, like, oh, procrastination, the hub that's down here because this is harder go through this comfort if you haven't been in discomfort for the past month or so you haven't progressed like at all maybe you've gone to the gym but like if you're not completely tired and fatigued after and you're not like holy shit you're not gonna progress as much as if you were You know what I'm saying? You have to go through discomfort before you can get the pleasures and the achievements. How much discomfort have you felt in the past week? And that will determine how much you have progressed that week. Because it trains yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. In the gym, you know what I'm saying? You get bigger. A strong mind. A strong body is a strong mind. You know what I'm saying? If you're more interested about the undeserved pleasures and how instant gratification genuinely fucks up your entire existence as a human being check out my latest video um the future videos i do not have any fucking idea what i'm talking about i'm just pressing the fucking record comment down below any videos you get me feedback tell me i fucking suck at youtube anything i need comments i don't care about subs i don't care about likes give me comments i'll catch up always later